Gwyneth just smiled. Whether she had just met you or whether she had known you her entire life, she was always happy. I went to the field day and around 10 o'clock, some of the students ran over and said, hey, Gwyneth's passed out, you need to come over and, and check her out. As I get closer, I see that um, Gwyneth is laid flat in a ditch and no one is doing anything. Once the EMTs arrived, they got her to uh, Stafford Hospital. At that point, they airlifted her to a, a hospital in Richmond. We then stayed there for seven weeks in the hospital. It was one heart-wrenching decision after another. Sadly, before we were able to bring her home, she passed. And all of this was because the period of time between her collapse and my arrival on the scene, no one did anything. Teachers aren't required to be CPR certified. They're not required to have this knowledge. Um, the students aren't trained in it. Every school didn't have an AED in it. And when I found that out, that was the number one thing that needed to be changed. The American Heart Association went with the Griffin family and set up the interviews and did the, the background work to get visibility of the bill. I can't look back on my, my two years in the General Assembly with more pride than actually standing on the House floor and watching the vote. House Joint Resolution 828, celebrating the life of Gwyneth Griffin. And Mr. Speaker, I move that we uh, pass House Joint Resolution 828. There are three components to Gwinnett's law. The first component requires training for all teachers. The second component requires AEDs at all schools, elementary through high school. And the third component requires CPR training for all high school graduates. If her life was to mean something or to have value, then it would have been to help others. We could save lives and we could do that in, in honor of Gwyneth. That's what she would have wanted. November 22nd, um, I suffered from a cardiac arrest and I was saved by my teachers uh, with CPR. When Ellie collapsed, we had had a CPR class maybe two weeks prior. These teachers know the importance of being certified, but now with Gwyneth's Law, it's mandatory. We were fortunate to be the receivers on the end of Gwyneth's Law for our daughter. When I arrived, they'd already given her CPR. My daughter wouldn't be here without those people. It's very, very simple. Hands-only CPR can be done by anybody. By doing CPR, you can actually double or triple the odds of survival. Now that I look at Ellie here at school, I think, you know, all this training, was, was not in vain because I have a child here that we saved her life. I have a 16 year old who's alive. She wasn't supposed to be here. I can't thank them enough for Gwyneth's Law and taking the initiative because if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be here.